One in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer. That's why people are coming together this fall to walk in the I Pink I Can Marathon to support women supporting women. Tanya Pritz is a breast cancer survivor and joins us this afternoon along with Robbie Raffish, who is the organizer of the I Pink I Can. All right, so Tanya, I wanna start with you. We mentioned you're a breast cancer survivor. Tell us about that battle. Uh, in 2017, at the age of 50, I had my first screening mammogram for the first time in three years. Uh, you see, I was more concerned with the effects of exposure to radiation than I was about getting breast cancer. I had zero family history. As a doctor of chiropractic, I led an incredibly clean lifestyle. I eat really well. I exercise, practice yoga daily. I have really very little stress in my life. I sleep well. So I thought that it couldn't touch me. And I ran into my radiologist friend at the gym and she said, it's been three years, please come see me soon. And that was the day that my life changed. I went in for a screening mammogram and she detected a lesion. And that very day did a sonogram and a biopsy. And within 24 hours, I got my diagnosis of breast cancer. But uh, I am so grateful to be a survivor. And I love mentoring other women through the very difficult process of breast cancer. Yeah, and that, and, and Robbie, that's really what Women Supporting Women is all about. It is, it is about free access to information, to mentorship, to things that maybe you don't even think about, like wigs um, or hats or a chair that you can sleep in when you're recovering from surgery. All of those resources are in one place on the sh lower shore and they're free. So obviously it's been a, a crazy year for everyone and especially for people trying to raise money. So you guys came up with the idea of having a marathon? <laughs> So Paula Morris, the other organizer and I, were supposed to walk a three-day walk for breast cancer, which is a 60-mile walk over a weekend in Chicago. And then COVID hit, and all the three days were postponed a year. So I had always wanted to do a walk on the shore that was a little more aware, impactful, but it's a closed group. There's 10 of us, and um, we're going to walk the beach communities on October 3rd, 26.2 miles. I have the blisters to prove that we're doing it. Um, we've been training a lot. And all of that money that we raise, we're hoping at least $10,000 will go to Women Supporting Women because like many, many nonprofits, they're in need right now. So you guys are walking and you're just looking for people to donate toward that walk. We keep saying the hard part is the walking. We're doing the walking. Nobody else has to take another step except to go to either I think I can dot org, pardon me, or GoFundMe or our Facebook page, any of those routes will get you to the donation point. Um, and if you donate $26 or more, and you would like us to walk in honor or in memory of someone, I always walk in memory of my mother, who, pardon me for choking up, passed away from ovarian and breast cancer after a 10 year bout. Um, we would be happy to add them to the list of people who walk with us. We'll put them on our website um, and remember them as we go. Now, Tanya, being a breast cancer survivor now, how seeing women come out and, and go to this extreme to f support other women who've gone through what you've gone through, how does that make you feel? My heart is really so full right now. You know, again, I'm tearing up. Um, my mentorship was pivotal in my recovery and my mentor passed away uh, mm -hmm. about a year after my recovery and i think of her every day her name was jennifer russell and um she was incredibly strong i, I was in communication with her to the end of her days and i thank my lucky stars because for the grace of god it could be me that is not not here and for the grace of god that i saw my radiologist in the gym that day who looked me in the eye and said, I know you're really healthy. I need you to come in for a screening mammogram. So I have changed my mind greatly about that. And I'm a huge advocate for annual mammograms after the age of 40 so that I can live a long and healthy life. I have a lot to live for, for including yeah. this marathon. <laughs> well, I think it's going to be a great time. You're going to have a great time. And we're going to have all the information, a link to your website so that folks can uh, donate um, on our website, domarvelife.com. Tanya Pritz and Robert Robbie Raffish, thank you both for doing this and thank you for joining us this afternoon. Thank you for having us. It's a real pleasure.